All right, Oval fans, hope you're all doing well. Let's get off on the right foot here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Please hit subscribe in order to help increase the watch time percentage for subscribers on the channel. So basically, if you are a frequent viewer of the channel, please hit subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. In the trailer for next week, we pretty much know that Donald has gotten one of the best doctors slash therapists that he can find in order to counsel Jason. However, his parents are rightfully concerned because of the fact that she's an attractive woman. And if you look at the track record of Jason's victims, all of them fit that category. Obviously, Denise being the attractive whore, Jean being the attractive housekeeper, Maude. Well, he killed her because she was mean, but I'd hit that. Anyway, we know that in the trailer that, you know, what is it? Hunter and Victoria team up in order to help get Jason the help he needs. And obviously it's going to be like family group counseling as opposed to leaving Jason alone with the therapist himself, which is a very, very, very smart move because of the fact that she even says in the trailer, wait, is he dangerous? So this is a very good first step. I mean, to I want to put it out there. Do you think that if Hunter and Victoria work together in order to help their son, could that potentially make them closer as a married couple? I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, I feel like Victoria is going to have to reel in Hunter because I bet he's going to, you know, not shy away from making smart or flirtatious remarks to the uh, therapist and Victoria is going to shut that down, which is kind of weird considering she's doing the same thing to Sam, knowing he's a married man and flirting and flaunting her authority on him in front of his wife. So, you know, can't really throw stones in glass buildings. You know what I mean? But I think that I hope this woman doesn't get killed. I mean, that's why the title of this video has Jason found his next victim, but I'm just throwing it out there that, um, I, I hope that isn't the case and maybe somebody will clue Donald into why this is a mistake, but we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Has Jason found his next victim or will his parents work together to keep this little killer from doing something stupid? So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.